Welcome everyone to the third day of OTR Essential Christmas and we got a special edition here for you today. Now, fortunately, I am flying solo for this one, but we will try to make do and have as much fun as we possibly can. The last edition of this, which I did, what, back in 2013, felt like it was a great success, a lot of fun for all of you, so we're going to do it again. It's time for Pro Wrestling Fuck, Mary Kill. And the whole premise was for those of you out there to go to Twitter and give me three names. I got to fuck one, marry one, kill one, go. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about right now. So let me go ahead and get started. Midnight New Mosaic, Karen Jarrett, Mae Young if she was still alive, the fabulous Moolah if she was still alive. You got to fuck Moolah, you got to marry Mae Young, and you got to kill Karen Jarrett. I'm sorry, but sometimes you just got to put a horse out of its misery, and then you just kind of cross over into bestiality things. And I don't get down with that no matter how many carrots and oats I have in my kitchen. Just can't do it. A cousinism says Molly Holly Karma Ruby Riot. You gotta fuck Karma, you gotta marry Molly Holly, and you gotta kill Ruby Riot. I will say this about Ruby Riot. If she ultimately gets over on the WWE main roster and she becomes somebody that's worth something, it most certainly will not be because of her looks. I'm just saying. Y'all call it harsh, y'all call it savage, it is the truth, and you damn good and well know it. It's like a broke-ass version of Paige, my goodness. Uh, Tommy CB, of course he's asking me about white women. Uh, oh, God. Charlotte Karen Jarrett Piper Nevin. Ooh, oof, oof. You probably let all three of them lick your butthole. Um, you got a... Oh, damn. <laughs> I just sucked myself to Karen Jarrett shit. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I have to fuck Piper Nevin, marry Charlotte, kill Karen Jarrett again. You can always put the horse down and always buy a new one. Uh, you can marry Charlotte because once you're married, you technically don't have to have sex. So we can do this whole abstinence until marriage thing. And then once we're married, we never ever look at each other naked, which would be to my benefit specifically, period. So there you go. Um, Monique Pryor. All right, well, let's not get going on to the guy stuff. I'm sorry, no offense, but come on, man. Jeff Jarrett, Kenny Omega, and Dolph Ziggler. This is like, ugh. Ah. Uh. God. Like three total dweebazoids. And speaking as kind of a dweeb, I know a dweeb when I see one. Pass! Mark Johnson, the marvelous one, coming through in big style. He's going to ask about Kelly, 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 Kelly. Yes, I know, Mark. Assume Kelly, Kelly position. Um, but the real question he has is Alexa Bliss, Brandy Rhodes, and Karma. See, you ask a guy about the women. Stop trying to get me to go off in the guy direction. It's not happening. Sorry, ladies. And for some of you fellows, I'm sorry too. No offense. You live your life how you want. I'm all for it. It's just not how the like that it gets down. Alexa Bliss, Brandy Rhodes, Karma. Gotta fuck Alexa Bliss because she reminds me of some high school cheerleaders that used to bully me. So all types of weird crap going on there. Obviously, gotta marry Brandy Rhodes. And in this case, I have to kill Karma. Sorry, it is what it is. Uh, Era of Reality. Ooh, this is a good one. Early 2000s Trish Stratus, and thank you for putting the qualifier on that. Uh, Selena Vega or JoJo. You gotta fuck Selena Ve Vega, marry Trish Stratus, knowing that the premise in this particular case is that you go to Pound Town at least two to three times daily, and we don't know what JoJo has, so I would have to kill her off out of those three. But that's a tough one. Um... Then Hug Life for Life says, yeah, I know I have problems, but answer this one anyways, damn it. A brick, a rock, and a cinder block. <laughs> a brick, a rock, and a cinder block. Um, <laughs> I suppose you gotta fuck a rock, marry a cinder block, and kill a brick. 
Because a rock you can get, you can get really smooth rock, so you can, like, grind one off on a rock, perhaps, maybe? I don't fucking know! You can start fires with it, so you gotta have some type of friction there. So maybe it makes for spank bank material. Hug life for life, I don't know. You tell me. The next time you watch one of your Bailey Splooge Fests, why don't you try to spank and yerk and the jerk into a freaking smooth double-sided rock, a couple of them together, and see if you can make fire happen in your crotch. And let me know how that goes. Joseph Humphrey. Oh, this is funny. How about a Double J special? Karen Jarrett, Jacqueline, or Deborah? Ooh. <laughs> one with the Bow Wow face, one is a horse, and the other one has a tit that freaking explodes. Um, I guess you gotta fuck Deborah, marry Jacqueline, and kill Karen Jarrett. That, 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 that's probably the way to go. Uh, Plate and Afro. Dixie Carter, Charlotte Flair, and Vicky Guerrero. You have to fuck Vicky Guerrero. You have to marry Dixie Carter because Dixie's got the most money. And Dixie is still aesthetically pleasing. And then you have to kill Charlotte Flair. Just, no. No. Like, you know, and here's the thing. Is you have guys that decide to live their lives as women, trannies, whatever you want to say, that actually take pride in looking decent, like they try to look feminine, they try to look like a woman, and in some cases they make women look shameful. Charlotte Flair does none of that. She has no ass, no body, she walks like a man, she kicks like a man, and she pees like a man standing up. Don't believe me? Well, eat shit! That's what I have to say. Andrew Harrington, Dixie Carter, or Dixie, <laughs> Dixie Carter, Emma, Brandy Rhodes. In this particular case, you have to fuck Dixie Carter, marry Brandy Rhodes, and kill Emma. Like, what purpose does she serve? Again, another one of those girls, kind of funky looking, no real body. Davidson Crooks, Nia Jax, Santana Garrett, Tony Storm. Uh, fuck Santana Garrett. Gotta have a white woman at some point in my life, right? Right? Am I right? Am I right? Well, I'm already almost 37 and it ain't never happened, so I don't see why I need to rock the boat now. Uh, marry Nia Jax and kill Tony Storm. No offense to Tony, but Nia's got a lot of juice to her. She's, she's exotic, so I gotta go with her. Abdullah Hep C. How appropriate you're saying Hep C in your name and then you're asking this question. Jeff Jarrett, Dino Bravo, and Dolph Ziggler. Why is everybody asking me about the guys? No, 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 no. No. I will say this about Dino Bravo, though. As much as he sucked and as terrible as he was, I would love to interview him. Of course, I can't, and we know why. That's uh, because he's dead. But unlike the thing on the, my top lip right now that no matter how much I've tried off and on over the course of the past seven years of doing this, as somebody pointed out, I've never been able to get it over and it never will get over, at least Dino Bravo could get the 18 bullets over. I'm just saying. Horror Movie Review 73. Asuka, Alexa Bliss, or Paige? Never had an Asian woman, so I will at least say fuck Asuka, marry Alexa Bliss, and kill Paige. I don't know what has touched those veins of Paige. I don't know. Well, we know plenty of what has touched Paige in other places in other ways. Um, and if she ever gives you a signed NXT belt, assume that somebody has jizzed upon it. Just saying. Uh, Michael Corvin, Soupy Corvin, my boy, asks Naomi, Brandy Rhodes, Renee Michelle. I will fuck Brandy Rhodes. In this particular case, my goodness, I will marry Renee Michelle, like on this and in real life. Renee, just saying, save me. Uh, yes, and then I would have to kill Naomi. Sorry, it is what it is. I know some of that stuns some of you. I mean, but and look, you're talking about Brandy Rhodes and Renee Michelle, the two hottest women in the professional wrestling business, in my opinion. I got got to go there, and I got to marry Renee Michelle. A Dragon Zord 571, God, Cena, or Orton. Again, why are we asking these questions about the guys? However, that said, this is a Breakfast Club question. It is now heterosexual to answer it, so you are getting a fucking answer. You have to fuck Cena, because you assume if he tries to roll you over, you're not really going to feel much anyways. You have to marry God, because 
He's fucking God, and Orton's borderline racist, so fuck him. Sorry, Chase. It's true. Les Juan James. Hunter. Randy Orton. Batista. Again, it's Breakfast Club, so it is heterosexual to answer this. If you were a woman, I'm sure it would probably be fuck Hunter, marry Batista, and kill Orton. And that sounds like a solid answer. But maybe for the ladies out there, you would finally be able to know for yourself, once and for all, one of those fundamental questions that wrestling fans have been debating for a decade now, just how big is Batista's dick? Maybe you would finally get the answer. Thomas Broom Jones, Jim Cornette, Vince Russo, or Paul Heyman. How about fuck all three of them? There you go. Fuck them. Uh, Ashwin, Ash the King, Trish, Lita, Tori Wilson. Fuck Tori Wilson, marry Trish Stratus, kill Lita. Again, Lita's been a lot of places. CM Punk has touched it. I'm good. I'm good. Midnight New Mosaic. The Young Bucks, Jeff Jarrett, or Linda McMahon. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? You threw a woman in there, so I guess I'm technically legally obliged to answer. I guess you have to fuck Linda, because she's the female. You marry the Young Bucks because they're younger and they have a higher revenue stream right now, and you also wouldn't, because you were married to them, have to have sex with them if you didn't choose to. And they're gone so much, that's cool. And then you still kill Jeff Jarrett because fuck Jeff Jarrett. Uh, Michael Corvin asked me another one. Round two. Jordan Grace, Maria Manic, or Faye Jackson. And in this case, he provided a visual aid, which is exactly how this should have been done. Thank you, Michael, as a Chicago guy, for understanding from one Chicago-type cap to another. Um, Looking at the three of them... I already know one of the answers. I'm trying to debate between the uh, fuck and the kill. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, that's tough. I will go... Fuck Maria Manic, marry Faye Jackson, and kill Jordan Grace. Although Jordan Grace did lesbian wrestling with Sin Sage. So I will fuck Jordan Grace, marry Faye Jackson, kill Maria Manic. No offense to Maria, but when she starts doing lesbian wrestling and singlets with Sin Sage, and all the thoughts that go along with that, then she can go into the fuck category. It's easy, the marriage category. You had to know where the slag daddy was going. It's Faye Jackson all day long. Get some A1 steak sauce, put it on my cock, and Faye, you can pretend that's a T-bone and just go to town on that shit Longhorn style. <laughs> and always remember, once you go white, you know you've been licked right. Uh, Midnight New Mosaic comes back second time around. Ask Mae Young, Fabulous Moolah, Judy Bagwell. Uh, fuck Judy Bagwell, Mary Mae Young, kill the Fabulous Moolah. Got any more come through at the last minute? Um, let's see here. No, that's it. I was hoping there were going to be more of them, but this was still fun nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But that was the third day of Oterra Central Christmas. Pro Wrestling Fuck, Mary Kill. And we'll see if it's going to be another four years before I do another one of these. Probably not. Let's hope not anyways. But anyways, I'm the Slight Daddy. Remember, OTR Central, not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need. And make sure you tune in next time for the second day of OTR Essential Christmas, where it's going to be about pick two, where I ask you to give me two things pertaining to wrestling. It could be two wrestlers, two writers, uh, two owners, two promotions, whatever the case might be, and I have to pick. I don't know how much fun it'll be, but we'll see. I'm sure you sadistic bastards will make it as fun as it possibly can be.